So you have a loved one that you're trying to rack your brain to give a gift to and you just can't come up with any good ideas. Or you have friends and family who are asking you for your gift list and you're like, dude, I just don't know. The gift giving season is not supposed to be stressful or irritating or a headache. And I hope to, in this video, alleviate just a little bit of that stress and burden, regardless if you're trying to come up with gift ideas for yourself or gifts to bless someone with. Well, welcome back folks to another video here at Gideon's Tactical. That's right, I'm gonna jump through a bunch of gear with you today. There's no rhyme or reason to it, except for the fact that I love it. And if you don't have it either in your collection or you know uh, somebody that you're gifting it to, doesn't have it in their collection, I think these things are really, really not only a lot of fun, but will just make life more enjoyable. And there's no, there's some outdoor stuff. We got some everyday carry stuff. We got some coffee stuff. We got some, you know, footwear. I mean, I got everything in here. There's no price levels. We got it all over the place. But I think that regardless if you're male or female, regardless if you're young or old, like the outdoors or kind of more of an around town person, I think there's something for everyone in this list that I'm about to share with you guys today. You don't have to stress yourself out about trying to like remember or timestamp where all this stuff is. I will have a bunch of this stuff in the links that we offer to you guys below over to Amazon, Blade HQ, GP Knives, 511 Tactical, and Mystery Ranch, Knockaround Sunglass Company, all the stuff that we have down there. Uh, we'll have in the links below for you guys, and hopefully it'll just help you out a little bit, and we appreciate when you purchase through those hyperlinks that we offer to you. So let's go ahead and jump into it with some footwear. Ontario 85 boots have become a staple here at the GT family. Now these are made by Merrill. They are ultra lightweight. They do have low top versions as well. This is my wife's. This is my three-year-old son's and I'm wearing my version that I reviewed earlier this year. Now, though these are a pretty penny at usually about 60 bucks for the child version and about 140, unless you can find them at a discount for the men's and women's versions, they're true to size. For my wife, they're true to size, for my son and for me. So across all levels, if that person measures to that foot width, they're most likely gonna fit. They have a slightly wider toe box. They have good arch support. They have their mega grip, which is a really good um, traction pattern that really worked well for me, not only in snow, but also on gravel and up in the Rocky Mountains at about 12,000 feet. Very water resistant almost waterproof in everything that I have experienced. Now, the only drawback though, being that they don't breathe super well and you're in hotter conditions, your feet will get a little sweaty. They're ultra lightweight, very flexible, very malleable, uh, and just really work well for us. They got all kinds of different color combinations. They do have all leather versions as well out there. So the Ontario line in general from Merrill has really been proving itself and particularly these 85s for me and my family. The so next up I'll hit with you is the the coffee lover's dream. Not only the AeroPress coffee maker, but a GSI Infinity Backpacker mug. This is a great mug regardless if you go to the office or you go out into the backcountry. It's very lightweight. It's designed kind of like a koozie and then a polymer graduations on it. Can hold up to, I believe, 18 ounces. It's graduated for two cups or uh, 16 ounces. Good, nice lid. Rates about medium on all of the polymer uh, backpacking mugs or cups that are out there for its insulation and temperature uh, retention capability. It's only going to run you about 10 bucks. And then the AeroPress is a phenomenal coffee maker. You can see how compact it is. It's very lightweight, so it works for backpacking as well as a trip to the office or traveling overseas when you want that cup of coffee right here, right now. And it makes a phenomenally smooth cup of coffee. It's not bitter. It's not sharp. I use it anytime that I just want to have a cup, single cup of coffee. I just made it about 30 minutes ago for this GSI that I'm sipping while I'm making this video for you guys. It's the best cup of coffee I have been able to come up with, regardless if it's my Keurig, my French press, a pour over. I prefer my AeroPress in about $40. This would make an amazing combo. Now, what happens if you last minute you forget a gift and you gotta pick something up right away and you don't have time to ship it? I think an S-Wing Sportsman's Axe, regardless if you go with the 12 or 14 inch version, they both usually run about $35. You can pick them up at most general stores, hardware stores, at least nationwide here in the US. Uh, and for the price of 35 bucks, you get an amazing hatchet that has been 
produced for years and years and really I enjoy and connect with and I've seen outperform $100 hatchets made over in Europe. So I love the S-Wing series and their Sportsman series and there are lots of different sizes as well if you want something a little bit bigger, maybe a rubberized handle, there's lots of options out there and it's not going to break the bank. Next up are solid fuel canisters. These make it to my wish list every single year. It's a very simple, very inexpensive gift item. If you know you have a loved one that does backpacking or outdoor adventures and uses a stove, these things are awesome. They come in all different shapes and sizes from about four to $5 on up. And if they don't have a stove yet and you know they do outdoor adventures, the Pocket Rocket 2.0 at about $45 is an amazing little setup. It's so compact, it's efficient with the fuel and makes a great gift to be able to make somebody's outdoor adventures that much more enjoyable when they're cooking, boiling water, and making warm beverages. All right, so blades. I gotta throw a couple blades in here for you guys because they are our bread and butter. And how are you gonna spread that butter on your bread unless you got a blade, right? So lots of bees flying around here. So one of the first ones that I'll suggest to you, if you want to gift a fixed blade knife, right? And you're kind of like, I don't know. And you know, you wanna stay within reason of budget. You're not quite sure what they're into. Are they kind of more, you know, like tactical utility? Are they more outdoor survival? What do you get, right? And you don't wanna break the bank. I think a great phenomenal option Option is the K-Bar Jaraz Turok. The K-Bar Turok, if you search it, you know, or again, links below. Uh, I think this is a great, great option because it has the K-Bar name behind it, USA made, 1095 Crovan steel. It's a full tan construction, got really contoured ergonomic handle that feels really good in the hand. It's very well balanced. It's about a six inch blade, uh, three sixteenths of an inch thick, got a little bit of a swedge on the top really well balanced it comes with a good ambidextrous polymer sheath so righties and lefties will enjoy it and it's a great knife regardless if you're looking for something that is more of like a deployment soldier knife uh, regardless if you're looking to put it in a go bag you know more of like tactical utility survival knife or you're just going camping and you want that knife that if you had to you could split some kindling for a fire you could hack down some smaller trees or branches to get either a small shelter or lean-to built or just help feed that fire and it's still precise enough that you can carve and whittle and make notches for triggers and traps you can make feather sticks with it and it's still got the balance for that quote-unquote soldier knife or utility tactical blade so it's this great crossover jack of all trades do everything knife they usually go between about 70 to 80 dollars so it's a great blade to gift someone when you're not quite sure what they might like but you know you want to give them quality usa made and k-bar uh, and you don't want to break the bank and it can hit almost any niche niche regardless of what they're going to do with the knife Next up are hammocks. You know, this is the off season here around the holidays. So hammocks oftentimes are either on sale, discount. You can even go to many different um, discount stores. For me, it's here at Trading Post. And, you know, maybe you can kind of hunt around the bargain bin. And you can usually find a good Eno hammock or even other brands that are out there for really deep discounted prices. And I love having not only my Sub 7 for my backpacking and hiking trips, but then my double nest or even single nest that I use around the home or when we're just going out as a family for either a uh, out in the woods day adventure, you know, or car camping or whatever it may be, uh, a good, reliable, durable, well-built hammock can last years and give a lot of not only fun, uh, I have a memory of me and my son even this summer, him really learning about the solar system and stars and satellites sitting in the backyard almost every evening in the hammock, reading him a story and then looking up at the stars and him learning about, you know, the, the planets and watching little satellites fly by and things like that. So it, it builds memories, but it also is a great way to relax and a good simple gift that almost anyone can enjoy. Next up is my Tokes. 750 milliliter mug, pot, whatever you want to call it. So it's titanium, usually around $35 is what it'll go for. About two and a half cups of water. It is a full size, all the way to brim is 750 milliliters. Uh, it does have a vented lid and it does have a little prop knob there so you can pull the lid it comes with the lid good arms that are really well attached that collapse you can nestle your um, 32 ounce nalgenes inside and put the lid underneath and then have the bag if you want the bag can act as a little uh, oven mitt when it's on a, an element and the handles are hot so it's a fully inclusive thing and the best part 
is that my Pocket Rocket 2.0, a 3.9 compact net weight um, fuel canister and a little polymer mug and lighting utensil can all fit inside this. And it's a very self-contained one to two man um, system for boiling water and or preparing food. So when I was thinking about the pocket knife that I could recommend to you, I think the Buck 110 or 112 series has the most variety and is gonna give great performance regardless of what you go with. There's so many options now uh, in this modern era of this classic design. Now you can go with a, a classic model like this. That's very standard. I have some uh, extras. There's lots of little custom things you can do as well. You can get a lightweight version of the 110. This is a 112, you know, with that wood and bronze, really cool. You can do a thin lightweight with a pocket clip now and 110 and 112 sizes, 112 being smaller, 110 being larger. And if you really wanna go premium, you can even go with an automatic version of the 110 or 112. Uh, and those will be in only the Blade HQ or the GP knife links. You can't pick up autos on Amazon. Just a quick little data point there for you. But uh, I think the 110 or 112 series in the lightweight, in the uh, slim series, in the original or in the auto, you pick the flavor and price point that you're looking for all the way from about $25, $25, about 40 up to like 120. Just depends on what you're looking for. I think this is a great gift option. Just depends on the flavor of the person you're gonna be gifting it to. All right, I gotta do at least one illumination aspect here for you guys. We're looking at the Phoenix L5, LD15R, LD15R. Uh, this guy is run off of a rechargeable CR123 battery. It does come with a little cable to recharge it. Um, and you can get that whole pack and, and everything like that. It has a lot of different capability. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing going here. There we go. Several different settings. It will go to a red light as well. It'll do different types of blinking options. It's got a, a bi-directional pocket clip as a magnetic tail so you can tag it and you know attach it to magnetic things and it also has an indicator for the power source in there this thing will run you about sixty dollars so it's kind of a one done do everything flashlight when you regardless if you're looking for something because it's a 90 degree that's hands free it's a great little thing to attach to maybe a pack or something like that or with a simple like phoenix or night eyes little head strap you can attach it as a headlamp which is what i tend to do with it but it also has that magnetic tail for hands-free capability and it's rechargeable so you're not going to burn through lots of high expensive batteries so i love this little guy and it's an awesome gift option for somebody who does need illumination on a regular basis because it's on the job site or in outdoor adventures now, if you really wanna blow their socks off and they don't have a full-size multi-tool, I got two amazing options for you. Either the Gerber Center Drive or the Leatherman Wave Plus. Both are gonna run you between 80 and $100, usually the Center Drive around 80, the Plus uh, Wave, the Wave Plus, uh, around 100. So it's gonna be a pretty penny. It's definitely gonna be a gift that they're gonna appreciate for years. Both have amazing warranties, Gerber with a lifetime, Leatherman with a 25 year warranty. The Leatherman being, I would argue, slightly more durable because of the wire cutters being a little bit better uh, and a little bit slimmer for better pocket carry. If you think this person is gonna carry it more in their pocket, I would say that the Wave is going to be the slightly better option. And the center drive is a little bulkier, but I like the extra extension arm that's quite long that is really functional. And then a couple of the other tools that just seem to, for my light duty needs, really work well, but it really has to go inside the pouch that it comes with. And the extended bit kit that it comes with is a really nice bonus. So for larger kind of medium to light duty tasks and you don't mind either carrying out a pouch, pouch on your belt or in a bag, the center drive is the way to go. But either multi-tool is epic and would be an amazing gift to the person that you give it to. Next up are micro spikes from Catula. Man, do these things rock. I've used them so many different times for so many different scenarios from shoveling the driveway to treks in the backcountry and even doing a trek to walk the dog or whatever it may be. There's a lot of value in these Catula micro spikes 
for lots of different capabilities. So, and they're uh, small, medium, large. The sizing is very standard and very simple to um, get. So regardless if it's male or female, as long as you know the person you're buying is for shoe size, bam, you can pick these up and they rock. Now, they are gonna cost you a little bit more because I would say they're more on the premium end of like spiked extra traction for winter time, running between like 60 and $70 usually. Now, as a backup to that, if price is an issue, Yak tracks are an awesome feature as well. That's usually what my dad will use, which work almost as well as these micro spikes. These just don't clump the snow quite as much and they do have deeper teeth for really aggressive terrain. But even in most hiking environments and or treks to work, school or clearing the driveway, Yak tracks are a good secondary option if you want to cut down on price. Now, if you're looking for preparedness and particularly revolving around firearms, the 511 two banger and four banger chest packs are awesome. These things are phenomenal. I love these little guys because not only are they capable for all body types and sizes, male and female alike, they are great regardless if you're actually even going to uh, attach firearm capable things like magazines and you know um, lights and things like that. Uh, it is absolutely designed for that to carry full size rifle magazines, but also carry um, full size pistol magazines, be able to carry medical equipment on it, uh, be able to carry a few other bare essentials. And regardless if you feel like you need the larger four banger or the smaller two banger, these not only for the value, which usually will run you between like 50 for the smaller and about 60 to 70 for the larger, um, heavy duty, you know, uh, nylon, really well-known brand 511 has a lot of modularity. I've also used them as um, medical pouches. If you need something that to carry a full medical kit, but you want like a shoulder sling, so you could carry that as well as a backpack and other things like that. Great for concealed carry for your firearm as well so there's a lot of versatility that these have and i have multiple ones not only when i go to the range and do a range day but also in my go bags and things like that so that i can sling those over the outside of me to not only conceal if i need to conceal carry a firearm but also have quick access to medical equipment say like a flashlight a multi-tool and a few other bare essentials Gorilla pods you can never go wrong with. If you know this person is either into vlogging, uh, videoing a lot of stuff, getting a lot of you know family photos, uh, filming different things for whatever reason, is into any form of either photography or videography, regardless if it's for their phone and or larger cameras, a good Gorilla Pod is a must, and I have like two or three because I need them for different scenarios and different weight classes. So this is a great option if you know someone is into film and videography. Next up here, I have the Wildo Mess Kit. This is the full mess kit, which will run you between $15 and $20. Depends on where you pick it up. But this has everything that you need to not only handle possibly a meal at the office, uh, but a meal anywhere in the outdoors. Uh, even great for picnics. We've used it several times on just family get-togethers when we meet up at the park or something like that. It's got a little cutting board, got two different uh, foldable mugs. It's got a salt and pepper shaker. It's got its own little spork, which is eh. That's the only part about it that I'm not super pumped about. And then it's got the lid, which acts kind of as a plate. And then the bottom, which is kind of deeper and acts as a bowl. And all of that in a very lightweight package made in Sweden. It's a really cool setup. And out of all of the pollen, um, mess kits that I have seen on the market, regardless if it's from uh, Light My Fire or other brands, uh, this one takes the cake because of all that it has to offer and how much capability and compact capability you get in the package. Next up is a hoodie that both me and my wife have absolutely fallen in love with. They, so they have men's and women's versions. These are the 511 Cruiser Performance Hoodies. These are 60% cotton, 40% um, nylon or polyester and uh, these have really great capability because they fit really nicely we really like the fit for both my wife and i they're not too baggy but they're not too constricting either uh, the hood is really nicely fitted uh, and they're a lightweight they're very lightweight so they're great either like kind of base layer if you're going to throw a jacket on over it and you still want that little hood you know or, or to be able to take that heavy coat off and still have a a trendy feel if you want. They're great also because of that blending material to do workouts in, those type of things, um, and or on those edge months. And that's really where I have enjoyed them the most is on the edge months of spring and fall when the temperatures are starting to get a little bit colder and they're about the weight of like kind of a heavy long sleeve shirt. Um, that then, uh, but you have a little bit extra style. They have a little patch, a little pocket in the front, you know, patch um, 
uh, area. They, they, they are great. My wife loves them. I love them. And we get compliments on them all the time because of their fit. And then we love them because of their functionality. And they're pretty inexpensive as well. I believe average going rate is around $30 to $40. Just depends on who, what, when, where, why. Again, links over to 511 below. All right, got to throw another blade in here just because it's so freaking cool. Every time I pull this blade out, I'm like, not only can this thing do it, and do it work for me, but it just looks so good doing it. It's the Ontario SP10 Raider knife. This is a USA made knife made out of 1095 steel, uh, and it comes with a decent polymer nylon sheath that has uh, uh, molly attachments, and you can often find these for about 50 to $60. So all of those things going together, and it's a beast. It's about a quarter inch thick. It's, uh, I believe, a 10 inch blade. So it's big. I mean, this is a big Bowie knife. So if, if the person that you're purchasing this for likes Bowie knives, likes bigger knives, and is looking for a tool that not only looks cool, you could like take out a bear with, but also chop down trees, split large logs, but still have the edge geometry to be able to make a feather stick if they had to, has the clip point to be able to pierce if they needed to. This is a great, great tool. Ontario Knife Company been around 100 years, USA made. I mean, you can't go wrong with this blade and it's not gonna break the bank. And I've yet to see somebody pick up this knife and go, eh. They usually pick up this knife and go, oh man, that is a sick blade. That is cool, is what I usually get. And so you get cool factor, but then you get usability factor as well because of the performance side of the knife. Next up, the gift I think you should give everyone this year, the Swiss Army Tinker. For $22, this is a phenomenal little Swiss Army knife that I think male, female, kids, or adults alike will see value and use in. There's all kinds of different color combinations out there, different capabilities, and you can even get a super tinker if you want for a few dollars more. That'll come with a couple extra tools. But man, it's so compact at about three and a half inches. It's slim, weighs under three ounces, and has such a cool capability. And Swiss Army Knife is synonymous with uh, preparedness, being a Boy Scout, the outdoors, hunters, backpackers, fishermen, everyday carry enthusiasts, and everyone in between, I think, can get behind a Swiss Army Knife, and particularly this Tinker, because of all that it has to offer and the amazing price point. Well, folks, there you have it. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that this video has been fun and enjoyable and helped you out with just some ideas. These were just stuff I pulled out of the hat that I was thinking about that I was like, these would be things I'd recommend to people. And I hope it just helps you out with your gift giving season and blessing those in your life that you care about with some awesome, sick, high quality gear that doesn't always have to break the bank. So again, thank you for checking out those hyperlinks that we offer to you below. Please comment, subscribe. Uh, check the other video popping up. Love to hear you guys' thoughts. Check us on Instagram as well. And as always, guys, love you. Stay safe. Have an amazing holiday season. Be blessed. And always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and I'll see you out there.